Hi everyone, I'm going to discuss the vision of polynomials using the long method and followed by synthetic division. So we will be following these steps as we work on the long method. And let's consider the first example. So for the first step, we're going to arrange the terms of the dividend in descending degree. So in our example, this is our dividend. Now, if there's a need for us to insert zero, no, for the missing term, so missing degree, so we will do so. Okay, so we have 3x to the 4th plus 25x cubed plus 35x squared plus 46x minus 21. And then we will divide this by x plus 7. So we're going to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So this is 3x to the fourth divided by x. And by the law of exponent, we'll come up with 3x cubed. And then we're going to multiply the quotient, I mean the partial quotient from step two to the entire term of the divisor. So we have 3x cubed times x. We have 3x to the fourth. And then 3x cubed times seven, we have... 21x cubed, and then we'll perform subtraction here. So this will be canceled. So we have 4x cubed here. Bring down the remaining expressions. And then we'll repeat steps two to four. So we will again divide the first term here by the first term of the divisor. And that's 4x cubed divided by x by the law of exponent. This is 4x squared. And then multiply this 4x squared to both terms of the divisor. So we have 4x squared times x. We get 4x cubed. And then 4x squared times 7, we have 28x squared. Again, we'll perform subtraction. So 35 less 28 is 7x squared. Then bring down 46x minus 21. Then divide again 7x squared by x. So we have 7x here, multiply 7x to both terms of the divisor. So we have 7x times x, we got 7x squared. And then 7x times 7, we got 49x. And then perform subtraction. So we have negative 3x here, bring down negative 21. And then um, negative 3x divided by x is negative 3. And then negative 3 times x, we have negative 3x. Then we have negative 21 when negative 3 is multiplied to 7. Subtraction, everything is canceled here, so there's no remainder. So we have to write 0 here instead of x because x is can be considered as a remaining expression or remainder. So we have to write 0 there. So our answer is 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 3. Okay? And then how about for number two here? So again, we have to arrange 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 3x plus 4 in descending order. And then we divide this by x minus 3. And then divide 2x cubed by the first term of the divisor x. So this is 2x squared. And I'll multiply 2x squared to both terms of the divisor. So we have 2x squared cubed here. And then 2x squared times negative 3, we have negative 6x squared. And then perform subtraction. So we have 10x squared here. Now negative 3x plus 4. So when 10x squared class is divided by x, so we have 10x. And then 10x times x, we have 10x squared. 10x times negative 3, we have negative 30x. And then perform subtraction. So we have here 27x plus 4. So we divide 27x by x. So we have 27 here. And then 27 times x, so we have 27x. And then 27 times negative 3, we have negative 81. And then perform subtraction. So we have 85 here. Now, guys, we cannot, uh, we cannot divide 85 by x since 
the degree of 85 is less than the degree of x. So if that's the case, then 85 will be our remainder and we represent this by adding the remainder represented by a rational expression where the remaining expression is the numerator and the denominator will be the divisor. And this must be the answer for number two. Okay, for number three, so we will divide this by x squared minus three. So make sure that we arrange the dividend in descending order before we perform division. And then we will divide this by x squared minus three. So we'll start by dividing the first term here by the first term of the divisor. So this is 2x. And then 2x times x squared, we have 2x cubed. 2x times negative 3, we'll have negative 6x squared. So we'll place it here along with negative 2x squared since the two are similar. And then perform subtraction. So we'll bring down x to the fourth. Okay. Oh, this is fifth right so wait so this must be um five five okay five here five here so this must be um cube so two x cube times x squared will have two x to the fifth and then two x cube times negative three we have negative six x cube so this must be placed on the degree 3 column. Okay, so this is negative 6x cubed. So this will be cancelled. So we'll bring down x to the fourth. So this is negative 5x cubed, negative 2x squared, plus 15x minus 3. And then perform again division, x to the fourth divided by x squared. So we have x squared here. x squared times x squared. So we have x to the fourth. x squared times negative 3. We have negative 3x squared. And then perform subtraction. So we'll bring down negative 5x cubed. And then this is x squared. Bring down 15x and then negative 3. So negative 5x cubed divided by x squared will be negative 5x. And then negative 5x times x squared, we have negative 5x cubed, negative 5x times negative 3. So we'll have 15x here. So subtraction. So this will be canceled. So we'll bring down x squared minus 3. So x squared divided by x squared is 1. And then 1 times x squared will have x squared. 1 times negative 3 will have negative 3. So guys, again, everything is canceled as we subtract them. So there's no remainder and the answer will be this. Okay. So more examples. So how about dividing for x to the 4 plus 8x cubed minus 7x squared plus 7x minus 3. So let's arrange the dividend in descending order. And then we divide this by the device or 2x minus 1. So divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the device. Or so this is 4x to the fourth divided by 2x. So we have 2x cubed here. And then multiply this 2x cubed to both terms of the device. Or so we have 2x cubed times 2x. So we have 4x to the fourth. And then 2x cubed times negative 1. So we have negative 2x cubed. And then perform subtraction. So we have 10x cubed here. Bring down negative 7x squared plus 7x minus 3. And then subtract 10x cubed by 2x. So we have 5x squared. And then 5x squared times 2x. This is 10x cubed. 5x squared times negative 1. So this is negative 5x squared. And then subtract. So we have negative 2x squared here bring down 7x and negative 3. 
So we'll divide negative 2x squared by 2x. So we have negative 2x here. And then multiply negative 2x by 2x. So we have negative 2x squared, negative 2x times negative 1. So we have 2x here. And then perform subtraction. So we have 5x here. And then bring down negative 3. So we'll divide 5x by 2x. So we'll get... Okay, guys, so we have to go back with this one. So this negative 2x was obtained as we divide negative 2x squared by 2x. And this has to be negative x instead of negative 2x. So this must be, so let's go back with this, okay? So we have... So we have here, so negative 7x squared less negative 5x squared. So we have um, negative 2x squared here plus 7x minus 3. And then we divide negative 2x squared by 2x. So this is negative um, x instead of negative 2x. And then negative x times 2x, we have negative 2x squared. And then negative x times negative 1, so we have x and then perform subtraction so we'll have 6x here instead and then negative 3 and then 6x divided by 2 so we have 3 here times 2x and then times negative 1 so everything is cancelled here so this must be our answer and then for number 4 so we have 3y cube so let's represent zero in the absence of degree two. So zero y squared and then minus five y minus two and then y minus three. Well, this is optional. So if you don't like to play zero, that would be fine. But I, uh, I suggest you play zero for you not to combine, um, not to place term which are um, not the same with um, that term. Meaning, you, there's a tendency that you place um, the similar terms on the same column. So this is very safe for you to do. You know? And then we divide 3y cubed by y. So we have 3y squared. And then 3y squared times y, we have 3y cubed. And then 3y squared times negative 3. So we have negative 9y squared. So we place this on the same column with this one. And then we have 9y squared here minus 5y minus 2 and then we divide 9y squared by 9 so we get 9y times 9y so we have 9y squared 9y times negative 3 so we have negative 27y and then subtract so we have um, 22y here minus 2 and then 22y divided by y is 22 and then 22 times y we have 22y 22 times negative 3 we have um, negative 66 and then subtract. So we have um, negative 2 less negative 66 is equal to 64. And this 64 plus is the remainder. So we have plus 64 over y minus 3 as our answer. Okay. So next... Okay, so synthetic division is the shortcut to multiplication, but we cannot like perform synthetic division all the time. The requirement here is the divisor must be of degree one, which is represented by x minus c. So what we're going to do is to bring down the leading coefficient and we will multiply this by c. So take note that we have to convert the divisor x minus c to the value of c. And then we're going to write below the second coefficient. So let's do this as we work on this one. So we're just going to write the coefficients here of the dividend. And then this x plus 7 will be expressed in terms of the value of x. So this is x plus 7 equals 0. And then this is x equals negative 7. So this is our c. 
So we can either write it here or on the other side. And then um, we're going to bring down the first term, 3, and then multiply by the, by, by the value of C or by the root. We call this the solution or the root by negative 7. So 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. And everything here is addition. So this is 25 plus negative 21. We have 4. And then 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. And then plus 35. So this is 7 times negative 7. We have negative 49 plus 46, negative 3. And then three times neg negative 3 times negative 7 is 21. I guess this is 21. And then this is 0. So if... The remainder, if the last term here is zero, meaning we the remainder is zero. And then the, the final answer, we have to subtract the highest degree of the dividend by the degree of the divisor that is four minus one. So that would be the degree on the quotient. So we have three x cubed plus four x squared plus 7x minus 3 as our answer. Now, if you remember, this first example was used as we work on the long method. And when you compare the answer, they're the same. Okay, another is we have 2 here and then 4, negative 3, 4. We, we, we bring down or we just write down the coefficient of each term. And then x minus 3 equals zero, therefore x equals three. So this will be three. And then we'll bring down two times three. So we have six. Everything is addition here. So four plus six is 10 times three. So this is 30. Then plus negative three, this is 27. So 27 times three is 81. And then this is 85. So this is the remainder. So again, the answer will be 3 minus 1 here. So it's degree 2 as the answer. So this is 2x squared plus 10x plus 27. We separate by the remainder by a plus sign. Uh, this is 85 all over x minus 3. So this is our answer. And then for number 3, we have 4. And then 8, negative 7, 7, and then negative 3. And we are going to divide this by 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1 equals 0. So 2x equals 1. So we divide both sides by 2. Therefore, x equals 1 half. So our root here is 1 half. So we'll bring down 4 and then times 1 half. So we have 2 here. So everything is addition here, plus 8. 10 times 1 half is 5 times plus negative 7. So this is negative 2 times 1 half. So this is negative 1 plus 7. This is 6 times 1 half, 3. So this is constant. Now, guys, since the coefficient of the divisor here is 2, so take note that this is not yet the final answer. We have to simplify it by dividing each coefficient here by the coefficient of x. So this is 2, 5, negative 1, and 3. So the answer must be degree 4 less degree 1. So this is 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus x plus 3. So this is the answer. So take note that this is not yet the final answer since the coefficient of x here is 2. So we have to divide everything here by 2 except for the remainder. So if there's a remainder here, we will not divide the remainder by the coefficient of x. I'm referring to the divisor. So here we have 3. And then since there's no degree 2, we'll represent this by 0. And then we have negative 5, negative 2. And then y minus 3 equals 0. Therefore, y equals 3. So this must be the, the, the value there. And then bring down 3 times 3. We have 9. So everything is addition plus 0. 9 times 3 
27 plus negative 5, this is 22. Then times 3 is 66. Less, less 2 will have 64. So this is the remainder. So we have um, 3y. So this is 3y um, squared plus 9y plus 22. And then we separate the remainder by a plus sign, 64 all over the device or y minus 2. And this is our answer. So you should know how to divide polynomials using the long method because we cannot apply all the time synthetic division to all polynomials, to so all division of polynomials. So we can only apply synthetic division whenever the divisor is of degree 1. So other than that, we have to do um, the long method. Now. I want you to work on this answer. So in number one, you can do synthetic division. You can also do the long method. But in number two, you can only perform division by long method since the degree of the divisor is two. Okay? So I want you to write your answer in the comment box of this um, lecture video. Just your answer. So separate your answer by comma. Okay, so I hope you're able to understand how to divide polynomials. So see you around.